It's Ron B360. The official Steam Deck dock was released recently, so you can hook it up to your TV or monitor, which is great. But if you bought a Steam Deck, an extra $100 for a dock might be a bit too much. Luckily, there are several third-party options on the market, and the people from the company Funalot were kind enough to send me one. With their price of around $35, it's kind of interesting to buy. But what do you exactly get for your money? How does it perform? And how does it compare to the official Steam Deck dock? I will help you with these questions, so you can make a good decision to buy one or not. And if you want to help me, subscribe to the channel, so we can reach 2k subscribers, and I can keep making more of these videos for you. So what's in the box? It's just the Funalot dock itself, without a USB-C cable to charge it. But you can use the charging cable you get when buying the Steam Deck. Also keep in mind, like its competitors, it doesn't come with an HDMI cable. So you need to have one yourself already. So how does the hardware look? It feels high quality and is almost similar to the Steam Deck dock from JSAW. It has three USB 3.0 ports to connect your keyboard and mouse to other USB devices, an HDMI 2.0 port to hook it up to your TV or monitor, which supports up to 4K 60Hz or 2K at 144Hz, a USB-C port with 100W power delivery for fast speed charging, a USB-C cable on the top, to connect it to your Steam Deck, and one of the most important ones, 1000 Mbps Ethernet port. If you want to quickly download your games, it's not located on the back as on the official Steam Deck dock, but on the side as on the JSAW dock. Furthermore, some rubbers on the bottom so it won't slide on your desk, and some rubbers on the inside to protect your Steam Deck and also prevent it from sliding. But the part where you put the Steam Deck is also wider than the original Steam Deck dock. So you will have some space to put your Steam Deck if you have a protective case around it. Besides the location of the Ethernet port, there are some minor aesthetic differences, like its more round shape compared to the JSAW dock. So how does it perform on a monitor or TV? Let's check it out. First I'm going to show you a bit of gameplay on this monitor, but after that I'm going to show you a bit of the desktop mode, where you can see more of how that part works, and I will also show you a bit of gameplay on an OLED TV. Also, just a small reminder, if this video helped you, make sure to like and subscribe. It would help me out a lot. So this game is called Strider, and is graphically a more simple game. But still, I want to show you how these games perform, and after that I will show you more graphically games. Like one from Devil May Cry. Just check it out for a sec. As you can see, it runs fluently on this monitor. The sound is perfect, the graphics are perfect. There's no delay in it at all. I had a lot of fun playing this game on the PS5, but I think I will replay it again on the Steam Deck. Just check it out for a second how good it looks. So as you have seen, it looks perfectly, but now let's move on to the next game. So this game is Street Fighter V, most of you already know this game, and as you probably have noticed, I'm a great Capcom lover. I think they just have something magical to it, maybe because I'm a gamer for a longer time, and I like those classic arcade games, but overall, it's just fun to play for me. As you can see here, Street Fighter V plays perfectly, and also on a monitor or TV, with this dock from Funalon. As mentioned before, you could also hook up a keyboard and mouse, so let's check that out. Of course, we're gonna play Shooter, because those games perfectly showcase how a keyboard and mouse work. Don't look at my skills, because probably they're not as good as yours, but still, I hope you get a bit of an idea how this works. Of course, this is training, but in the training you can see that it works good. I'm using a simple and old keyboard and mouse, but still, it is working great. Just check it out for a second. Each shot is important as well as the weapon you hold. 
So also the online part of Apex Legends runs great and it didn't have any lag at all. The controls are very responsive and it's overall a fun to play. Just have a look at it for a second. Again, the graphics aren't set too high, but still, it's a lot of fun to play, so we definitely recommend this. Now let's head over to the desktop mode, because that's a very interesting part. As you can see, you have two screens. You can still command the Steam Deck with your hands or with the mouse and keyboard. And you can do almost everything, or maybe even everything, that you can do on a normal desktop. From browsing the internet to watching movies, you can do it all. Check it out. Now let's check out how it runs on an OLED TV. Again a fighting game, one because I love fighting games and two because it's a great way for me to check how responsive it is and if there's any delay on the game. Now let's see how our faster game runs, with our blue friend Sonic. Just check it out for a second. Here on Green Hills, you can see that everything is running really good. It's a fast paced game, but even here, there isn't any delay on it. The colors are popping, the game is very responsive, everything is working as expected, so I got to say I'm very satisfied with the funnel out dock. So should you buy the funnel out Steam Deck dock? Of course, that choice is up to you. If you want to collect everything that is official from Valve, go for that. But if you want to save some money for almost similar specs and performance, this Steam Deck dock from Funnelot might be something for you. In that case, you can use the link in the comments or bio. I hope this video was helpful to you, but if you want to see more Steam Deck content, click here or subscribe to check it out later. See you there.